Hello guys, I want to cover some EOS news in this one. First being the upgrade to EOS Rex and also the new Block 1 testnet. The upgrade to EOS Rex was proposed by EOS Nation and had the required 15 votes within a couple days. The major changes in this upgrade to Rex is a 30 day 12 hour Rex staging pool and the threshold change from 20 to 10%. So with the threshold change, that means in instead of at 80% of Rex being lent out, Rex loans get turned off. Now it's up to 90%. And right now we're at 83.04%. And it's been hovering here for a while. So this seems to be like we found a happy medium here at that 83% number where right now one EOS can borrow 543 EOS for 30 days. That extra 10% gives us more leeway to find that happy medium and hopefully never hit that threshold number again. But the bigger change in my eyes is the 30 day 12 hour Rex staging pools. So here's an example I have of a 6,000 EOS loan where someone paid 6,000 EOS to rent resources from Rex on day three here. So previously on day three, Someone pays 6,000 EOS to rent from Rex. Immediately, those 6,000 EOS go in to the profit of Rex stakers, which they can re withdraw. This causes a double-edged sword problem where this 6,000 EOS rents out a large portion of the available EOS in Rex. And then people also want to take profits if they are staked in Rex on those profits they just saw from this 6,000 EOS so people start unlending from Rex to take take advantage of those profits. With these new 30-day staging pools instead of this 6,000 being immediately available in profits it's now broken up into 12-hour chunks over the 30-day duration of the loan. So this 6,000 EOS is now broken up 200 on the first day, 200 on the second day, 200 on the third day, all the way through through day 30 which you can see here so instead of that profit hitting right away it's now broken up into chunks every 12 hours it is distributed to Rex stakers over the 30 day duration of that loan before you had to be in Rex you had to stake your EOS in Rex before someone made a big loan to take advantage of the profits from those loans now when a big loan occurs and in this example on day three users can still get in after that loan occurs to take advantage of the Rex profits from that loan. Since the profits are distributed over the 30 day period of that loan instead of hitting Rex right off the bat. So this makes a lot more sense. It, it gives people incentive to not withdraw from Rex once a big loan occurs, but actually gives incentive for more people to pile into Rex after a big loan occurs because they can now get a piece of those EOS paid to Rex. And we'll really see the advantage of this when these big Rex loans expire. There's a 29 million EOS Rex loan and a 19 million EOS Rex loan. So almost 50 million worth of EOS that were rented out on the old model. So once those expire in 12 days, 13 days, if they renew their loans, the price they pay for that loan is going to be dripped out over 30 days. And we'll see the real effect it has as far as people moving EOS into Rex. So next up, Block 1 now has an EOSIO testnet. This is found at testnet.eos.io, Block 1's official EOSIO testnet. So this is going to be great for development on EOS. Test on a fully featured EOSIO stable releases. Create test blockchain accounts in seconds. Best place to start learning EOSIO. Easy account management. Multi-node distributed network. One-click blockchain account creation. Embedded EOSIO explorer. Real-world distributed network. Snapshots. And this is the big one, I think. Support. We have a team ready to support you as you learn EOSIO and test your applications. So developers being able to get support from Block One as they're developing their application is a big one. Hopefully it'll speed up development and help iron out bugs. But this whole new testnet will make 
developing on EOS or any EOS IO chain faster and easier. So a big plus for all EOS IO. Check out testnet.eos.io if you want to check it out. So that's it for this quick EOS IO news update. We continue to see improvements across the board with EOS IO 2.0 coming out, the new fix to Rex, and the new Block 1 official EOS IO testnet. Things continue to improve and push forward with EOS IO. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. Are you on Telos yet? Telos is an EOSIO blockchain currently ranked number two on Blocktivity, just behind EOS, and ahead of other chains like XLM, IOST, ETH, Steam, TRX, BTC. Check out the link in the description that'll take you to this page to get your free Telos account if you have not already. You can get a free account on desktop, mobile, or using the Telegram bot. And if you'd like to learn how to Rex your TLOS tokens, into the Telos Rex and take advantage of those currently around 18% Rex returns thanks to the Telos Economic Development Plan. You can learn how to using both Squirrel Wallet and Scatter. This message on Telos is brought to you with the support of the Telos community via the worker proposal system. That's it for me for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.